Tonight, families frustrated but holding out hope after a second day of searching brought no new rescues in the Florida condo collapse. Four people are now confirmed dead, and the number of unaccounted has risen to 159. That includes at least three people with ties to the Chicago area. Today, family members were told they'll be asked to submit DNA to help identify bodies that may be otherwise unrecognizable. Officials are still telling loved ones to be positive as we near the 48 hour mark since that collapse, but rain, dust and smoke from small fires are complicating the search and rescue efforts. Still, though, crews are risking their lives to search for survivors despite the possibility of another collapse. And tonight, the question remains, how did this happen? A newly uncovered report may hold some answers. Researchers were aware this building was sinking as early as the 90s. As families hold on to hope that their loved ones are alive in the rubble, a Florida International University professor says the area where the Surfside condo partially collapsed showed signs of sinking during the 1990s. However, that in and of itself likely would not cause a building's collapse. The 2020 study conducted by Professor Shimon Vitavinsky showed the Champlain Towers South building was one of the places on the east side of the barrier island where land subsidence was detected between 1993 to 1999. It was unusual, uh, this, uh, the pocket uh, we saw in Surfside. A few of those believed missing have ties to Chicago. Juan Mora is an employee of Morton Salt based in the Chicago headquarters office. Mora is a graduate of Loyola University, Chicago. A statement from the school spokesperson says, we are stunned to learn Loyola University, Chicago alumnus Juan Mora, along with his mother and father, are among the missing. We remain hopeful Juan and his parents will be found safe. University of Chicago student Elon Nabriff, also among those missing. He is a rising fourth year physics and molecular engineering student, described by a friend as a tremendous person filled with love. A social media post says that Elon and his girlfriend Deborah Bresdevin were in the building that collapsed. And Chicago native 77 year old Richard Augustine, also missing. He was supposed to fly to Chicago yesterday to visit his daughter, Debbie Hill. I don't feel like it's going to be a good outcome because I know where he was in the building and I know how the building collapsed.